My name is Nick Shep. And I'm Jeff Walton. And this is the presentation of our microprocessor. So let's, let's get started. Let's walk over to it. Alright. So, this is the schematic for our microprocessor, as you can see. The first part right here, this is the up bit counter. And this goes over and counts all the bits for the whole uh, processor between 1 and uh, 200 or 128. And, and then this, it's going to go right into our PROM. And our PROM, it's going to hold the program to be run on our processor. It's like the, it's like the store, it's like the big cheese almost on this because it's going to hold everything, it's going to hold all our commands for what we're going to show you later with our shout out to Brother Gordon. It's going to show all the math that we're going to do, which of course is going to head right into our instruction decoder. And this is going to hold all those operational codes, all that stuff, all those numbers that we really don't want to see as well. And for instance, it's going to go and it's going to head to our register file, or it's going to head to our ASCII display, or it's going to head to our accumulator, and it'll go for the selector bits, which is going to choose which register that it's going to go into. It's going to do everything for us. Okay, so now also there is the MUX. The MUX gets information from the PROM and it also gets information from the accumulator. The MUX goes over and gets information from the decoder and tells whether to go over and get the information from the bit register or from the ALU. And that's pretty much all the MUX really does. And so that register, what I was telling you guys about a little earlier, that register, basically, let me uh, show you a little bit inside this bad boy right here. Just let me push into that symbol. So inside it, we got our two registers. We got our register 0 and we got our register 1. And what's going to happen here, I need a pointer. What's going to happen here is that the numbers, it's going to choose whether uh, the number that we input, let's say a 3. It's going to... Make it go here, or an H, for instance, for a hello, BG. Hey, Brother Gordon. So it's going to go here. And then another part of it is going to go here to complete that code. And so this will select which one it's going to go into. Now let's take you back into our final. And this, of course, is going to also head into our LCD controller, which is going to be the display of um, our message, say we want to write something, like our hello BG, or our 3 plus our 4, or our 3 times our 3, or our subtraction. And so it's just going to show that input. It's going to take it in and it's going to display it right here on our Xilinx board. Alright, now, the next part is the ALU, the accumulator. And this is going to go over, and this is in charge of our adding, our subtracting, our everything. So let's go over and we can actually open this up real quick. Okay, so in here there's two parts. There's the ALU and then there's the bit register. The bit register is just the same thing like the, uh, the other uh, bit register that you saw before, where it just holds values. Okay, it just holds values, holds four values. Then... The ALU, if we go further into the ALU, let's dive into this. We'll see that it's broken up into different sections. There is the adder, the ander, the or, and the XOR. And then we got uh, some muxes over here. And pretty much what this is, is it'll go over and this will add two things together. Uh, I mean, these will add uh, parts together. This will and them together, this will or them together, and this will XOR them together. And then the mux goes over and then outputs them. And inside, most of these are just AND gates. That's just an AND gates. Those are just OR gates, and those are just XOR gates. This right here is a little more complex, though. When we push this out, we find this. And this is our addition. This goes over and takes all the inputs that we get 
like when our three we when we do the three plus three. This will get all the inputs, and then it'll go over and it will just add them up. It'll add the uh, the eight bits or the four bits by the four bits, and then add them up. Okay. So now, if we go back, that's our accumulator there, and our accumulator will go over send the uh, information back up to the mux. And we'll actually look at the mux real quick. The mux is just four uh, four muxes put together, and so it's an eight by four mux. So it gets in eight bits, and then it only it outputs four, and it goes over and decides whether it should be uh, the uh, whether it should look at the information from the bit register or whether it should look at the information from the ALU. And then finally, we have our debounce, which is just our clock. Our clock connects to our binary counter, it connects to our uh, bit registers in the bit register and in the bit register in the ALU, and also there's a clock in the LCD controller. Alright, now let's head over to our Xilinx starter board. If you want to hold the camera please. So as we click through it, it's already been programmed, it's already been set up. So that all we have to do is we're just clicking right here on a selector. And oh, we got an H. So let's do a little slow shout out, I should say, a slow shout out to our friend, Brother Gordon. Hey, Brother Gordon, how's it going? Now let's head on to our math. And we have our three and our four. And once again, like the process we explained, it's going to go through that. And that equals seven. Oh, yeah. This computer knows math. And as we continue on, we have our 3 times our 3, which of course is going to equal 9. But we're not perfect. Computers are not perfect either, and we're working through these errors. Currently it says 2, but as we work through it, it's going to say 9. Trust us, we're professionals, we know how to do this. We just wanted to show you our design, give you an idea so we can keep you updated about further products that we're willing to sell to you. Thank you once again for your cooperation, and we hope to hear from you soon. Bye-bye.